The Renault Megane has always been a bit of a black sheep amongst the small car flock. With the exception of the red hot Renault Sport hot hatch, its mainstream models have been a little hit and miss. Well, the French car maker claims to have brought the Megane back to the pack with this, the latest fourth generation model, which features new technologies, new engines, and a revised model range. And we've come to Portugal to see if that claim is true. First things first, this Megane is actually all new from the ground up. That's because it rides on a new Nissan Renault modular family that also underpins cars like the X-Trail and the Qashqai SUV. What that means for customers though, is that this car is also much larger. It rides on a bigger footprint for more interior space and also increased driving dynamics. This one here is the GT, which until those red hot Renault Sport versions turn up in about a year's time, sits at the top of the new Megane range. It features a revised version of the Clio RS's 1.6 litre turbo four cylinder and comes with a seven speed dual clutch automatic driving the front wheels. The motor has been tweaked specifically for the Megane GT, generating 151 kilowatts and 280 newton meters. An increase of just four kilowatts, but offering 40 newton meters more pulling power, while consuming less fuel with an average of six litres per 100 kilometers. What is pleasantly surprising about the first time you get in the Megane is just how modern and comfortable the interior of the car is. Compared to the predecessor, this really sets some new benchmarks. One of the highlights of the cabin is Renault's R-Link 2 multimedia system, which is accessed via an 8.7 inch touchscreen, the largest in the small car class. And like a Tesla or Volvo XC90, is presented in a portrait orientation with smartphone-like operating system. The digital dash is also really cool. It can change through four different styles and also background colours which are matched in the ambient lighting of the doors. These seats are also amazingly comfortable, they're beautifully supportive in all the right places. The tactile feel of the man-made suede is really nice and the driving position is quite good with good vision even out the rear with a small portal window. On the road though this car really finds some of that balance that the French have been renowned for in the past but have kind of lost in the last decade. It doesn't have any electronic trickery to the way its suspension operates, there's no adaptive dampers, but even over pockmarked surfaces, this car rides really, really well. The steering is also nice and natural with a good feel to it. The GT model here also features four-wheel steering, so when you get into the bends like this, it feels really secure and quite well planted. But this isn't just a typical warm hatch. This thing genuinely builds a bridge between a run-of-the-mill family runabout and those Renault Sport hot hatches. It's actually quite fun to punt along a back twisty road and really responsive and engaging to drive. The 1.6 litre feels fizzy and energetic at most speeds but also relaxed and effortless around town. It shifts smoothly and intuitively when left to its own devices as a regular automatic. It also responds quite well to inputs through these oversized column mounted gear paddles in manual mode. One gripe though is that it automatically shifts up just before reaching redline, so if you're up it for the rent and the twisties, sometimes you can double tap and get two gears higher. In all other situations, it's quite a good gearbox. It doesn't display any of the hesitation or jerkiness at low speeds that others of its type do, and it's smooth and quiet in the way that it goes about its business. So what's the verdict on the new fourth generation Megane? Well, first impressions are that it's actually quite an impressive little car. It not only looks stylish from the outside, but the interior sets some real benchmarks in this small car class. More than that though, the French have reclaimed some of that driving dynamics now that they've been renowned for, and this car is generally a fun car to drive. But more than that, it really has brought the Megane back to the pack.